Hey all, welcome to my portfolio review of my stocks that I'm going to have holding into November. Um, I'm going to go through what have they done previously in the last month and um, like I said these are the current positions that I'm going to have holding into November. I like, I know people like to know my full portfolio of stocks. Um, I certainly like to go on YouTube and see other people's stocks that they're holding um, through the month. Um, and kind of give you a review on how that's gone uh, like I do every month so we'll get stuck into it so uh, in October my biggest gainer um, which is always number one on these videos is Square Square was up 15% which was a really good month uh, I, Square is just one of those stocks that I kind of actually wish I went ahead with a little bit in heavier in um, it is probably my third or fourth biggest position that I hold um, but yeah, I can do wish I went a bit heavier in Square because it is up big time this year. Uh, and I, I have also considered investing into PayPal recently. Uh, I, I just kind of hold back because I'm invested in Square. And investing in Square and PayPal is conflict of kind of interest. But it's different really because obviously Square is targeted at smaller businesses. And I think at the moment Square actually holds 1% or even less than 1% of the market. Um, and I saw an a, a article on it the other day saying if Square actually took one more percent of the market, how much all of its figures would go up by. Uh, and it would be insanely, in, its revenue would go insanely up. Um, but PayPal's kind of different, you know, PayPal's kind of for big, bigger businesses. Um, I just kind of see PayPal more and more places now and obviously the revenue on PayPal it keeps going up um, so it's definitely one stock PayPal I'm, I am watching it really close and I, I don't know I'll, I'll see the only problem is with PayPal is that obviously it's, it's already at a high um, high price to get invested in um, but I don't see it going down I don't see PayPal going up um, especially with the uh, forecast that it has so we'll see how, what happens with that one Number two, Win Resorts was down 0.62%. To be fair, it did have a very good September. Um, I'm not really fussed about Win Resorts. Um, probably my fifth biggest position. Um, it's at the moment, Win's in a good place. Um, it's not going to be a stock that I buy any more shares in, and it probably won't be a stock that I sell any shares in at the moment in time. I, I do. I am about 90% sure it will make it to the end of the year still in my portfolio unless something else happens but Wynn has a lot of stuff going for it. The revenue looks like it is going to increase big time over next year so um, at the moment I'm not going to touch it by not selling any more shares in it um, but it's definitely a good position. Number 3, Alibaba. Not much, 0.99%. Um, I think all these stocks were kind of hit at the moment with there was a lot of the North Korea business going on so there wasn't massive gains really this month um, but I'll take it like a 1% gain really, it's better than nothing I guess um, I'm sure it'll go up soon, I'm sure when they end up reporting numbers there'll be a big jump in Alibaba so not too worried there uh, Ferrari 4.46% not too bad for Ferrari um, I would have liked it to be a bit more in double figures if I'm honest uh, but yeah, not too bad. We'll see. Like I say, uh, we'll see what the earnings report means. Uh, there might be a little bit of shock in the free stocks I'm buying from Ferrari, and um, we'll see what happens in the earnings for Ferrari. Um, I'm going to be glued to that one out of all of the shares that I hold. That's the one that I'm going to be keeping a big eye on. Boeing. Um, Boeing actually has a chance of creeping into the free stocks I'm buying. Really impressed with Boeing's figures at the moment. There's kind of the little thing with Canada and the little bit of arguing going on about um, the making the airplanes and the government kind of letting them having them cheaper. But um, Boeing is just a, a really good company. Um, like I say, it, that that is one of the companies that could get I could get larger shares in that company. So we'll see what happens there. I'll probably update you a little bit more on the next. Uh, month's video. Last one, that Live Nation, it actually didn't have a really good month, it was down 0.29% um, but I'm not too fussed, it's probably due a bit of a quiet month um, it probably will shoot up like Alibaba in the next month so we'll see what happens there 
Um, when it reports numbers, I'm sure it'll be estimates, so we'll see what happens there. Um, like I say, I'm definitely not going to sell any shares in Live Nation. Um, the only time I think I'd sell shares in Live Nation if if they pull pull out some bad earnings, um, or Amazon come in, or because I know they were kind of interested. Um, so if it d does develop any more, then that potentially could be the point where I pull out of Live Nation because um, it's pretty much good at good night if they come into it. Um, so that's probably where I'm going to stay with Live Nation now. Um, Ventures for stocks that I could potentially purchase coming up uh, for the next video. I could be there could be Adobe sneaking in, uh, PayPal like I said, and um, Micron um, could be a stock that potentially I could buy. I do have a little mini account set up where I can just put some money aside for a bit of fun to invest in some pointless stocks. Um, but for some reason that came under the pointless category, um, but potentially could actually pulling a serious position on there in that company so uh, that's the free stocks I'm probably gonna, just going to keep an eye on um, so yeah so guys give the video a like subscribe and I'll see you on the next